Good morning. Welcome back to Squawk Box, everybody. We are live from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Delta Airlines posting quarterly results. Phil LeBeau joins us with the numbers. Phil, good morning. Good morning, Becky. These are essentially in line with expectations. Delta a top line coming in with revenue of $12.84 billion. The street was expecting $12.87 billion. Earnings per share, a buck fifty-one, but there's a three cent impact from Hurricane Ian. The street was expecting a buck fifty-three. Operating margin of eleven point six percent in the third quarter. We saw the revenue increasing. We saw the demand increasing. That's going to extend into the fourth quarter. This is why the shares might be moving a little bit higher this morning. The Q4 guidance, once again, giving guidance on an earnings per share basis. That's what Delta is doing. Remember, they suspended that during the pandemic. The company expects to earn between a buck and a buck 25 in the fourth quarter. The consensus going into the fourth quarter was 79 cents a share. So much higher than expected earnings per share guidance. Revenue will be up 5 to 9 percent. Most analysts were expecting revenue to be up 1 to 5 percent with an operating margin of 9 to 11 percent. Don't forget, coming up next hour, we're going to get better perspective on the demand that is out there, not only for leisure, transatlantic, but also corporate. We're going to be talking a Squawk Box exclusive. Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines, we'll talk to him about the Q3 results and more importantly, the guidance for the fourth quarter. Again, Delta essentially in line for the third quarter, fourth quarter guidance better than many people were expecting. Guys, back to you.